Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Prince Noctis! Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. <laughs> well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Splendid. You've done well, my boy. Not unlike you and your father when you were little. Hmm. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. Greetings. Will you be staying with us? Let's call it a day. A bath at long last. Morning. Hi. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia. But she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles. A convoy of sorts, shall we? Been a lot of tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here haven't been shaken loose.
all set? Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. All yours, Ignis. Come now, he always drives. Be a friend and let him rest for a change. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race. You sight of me, and no tail. All right, all right. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galton and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm ground's much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. No checkout time. I dare say you have not with no checkout time. I'm all for extra sleep. I'm not saying it's easy, but I envy the hunters. Wish I could live. What say we call it a day here? What say we can- The Archeans not- Neither are we. So we make- Hell no. <sighs> oh, I shall foot the bills. It's bedtime. Good morning to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass. Very well. Let me know when you are ready. I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any. Tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby. Pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say. But the Archeum caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. 
or any day for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well. You just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah. I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? that I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Will you? Better not be a... Have I given you reason? You don't really... Yeah. Hello? Wow. I may not look at your audience... You're leaving? I drop... that one again. Whoa! A little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. Going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. This is 
the Archean? Seems we woke the big guy up. He's trying to tell me something. But what? Knocked! You okay? Well, thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Sky. <sighs> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. First, <laughs> faster. Calm down. I'm going as fast as I can. Almost there. Talk? So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. <sighs> sick of this endless walking. And I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood? 
or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We Amicidia are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, alright? Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? Isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are... Off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. <sighs> we finally made it. I know. I'm here! What the hell is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me.
more of this crap!
Hey, are we all still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Oh, thank the... And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage. Pretty generous offer. Come now. Well... So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the can't leave her on... Chancellor. This? Or perhaps... Commander Ravis Nox issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockade shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra!
Someone's sending us a message. Cinder's blessing. Will the path to the stone be opened? The oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The eye of the storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait. So my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen? Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You... Really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Take a look at our wares. Hey, come again. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? Oh, love the lighting. Let's go.
We're out of here. Bigness, come on. On my way. Thanks. for the ride. Nice riding with you. <sighs> huh? Ah, the young prince is recovering well. Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the Storm Sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? A another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archeon. <whistles> Easy now! The Oracle's call awakens the gods. Their blessings find the key. You all right? What did she say? Ah, the Venus awakening the sex. You said it. This one's just for you. Yeah. 
none the worse for wear. Yeah. Bring on the next one. Let's go. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far less. <laughs> Easy now. you out anyway. Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. <laughs> How are we? Getting by. <laughs> Let's go back and play video games.
Go back where? To... our hotel room? Not gonna happen. Let's go! the blessing that divine power is just waiting for you my revelation is the power of the six manifest Get this over with. Finally, time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. Easy now. Resting on you now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Done in a minute. Time to spare. You're on fire today! Okay. Messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine.
Oiris' story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Ground City. You really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. Sucks when it rains. Less whining, more working. <laughs> 